Hopkins, Race Lifestyle back. We are taking a new vlog today. This is going to be the first of the completely daily vlogs, which means today I'm going to vlog everything I do, tomorrow I'm going to do the exact same, and then I'm going to put two videos up every single week. And then as time goes on, I hope to have the time to be able to video nearly every single day. But over the last two weeks, I've literally done fuck all. All I've done is work, and all I've done is come back and train. And most of you have seen that on Snapchat, but today I've actually got a lot of things to do. So I'm gonna take you through the full day with me. The first thing that I'm doing this morning is at half nine, I'm gonna do the 5K park run. It's just a little park run that's over, uh, over beside the college every single morning. Uh, every single Saturday morning at half nine, I haven't done it yet. It's a lot different doing 5K on the road instead of doing the 5K on a treadmill or on the bike as I usually would do. So this is probably the first time I'm gonna put my head through running outside since championship time during the summer. So we're gonna see where I'm at. Regarding time wise, I'll be absolutely delighted if I get between anywhere near 20 minutes because realistically, um, my fastest ever time doing a 1K was 3.10. So, you know, we break that down, what, 5, 3, 15, 10 seconds, anywhere between 20 minutes, and I'll be delighted. Uh, so, I'll take you along with that and see how we get on. I'm feeling pretty lean at the minute. I'm going to show you a bit of uh, a video of a check in I've done a couple of days ago. Uh, most of you know from Instagram, Snapchat, I'm realistly around 69kg at the minute, but I'm trying to get back down to where I was at the start of the summer, around 67kg, and then take it from there and see if I want to bulk or not. It is getting close to Christmas, so it would be ideal just to start a lean bulk and um, just around Christmas time and then keep going then till probably a couple months before summer and then shred back down and see what we get up to. So before I talk too much shit, I'm gonna have a bit of a, my pros and have like oats nearly every single morning and kickstart my day. And um, obviously has the carbs in it and there's no fats in it because um, I usually have peanut butter but I'm giving the peanut butter a miss because I could be going out for dinner later on the night and I'm not too sure if I will be able to um, hold off the fats at dinner time so I'm going to stay clear of them until then so we're going to get this into me I have a couple of other things to do I need to release the Brian McGuigan uh, competition winner so stay tuned for that later on I need to post off some stuff so we'll take with me to the post office so yeah what a beautiful morning it's currently nearly a half nine a.m i'm on the way to do the 5k it's pretty cold but i've got my leggings on I've got my nikes on i'm hoping to get under 20 minutes or close to 20 minutes as i can so i'll not talk to you too long but see you when i get up there <laughs> Five K done. Just finished up there about a few minutes ago. Delighted with the time. I said I want to get as close to twenty minutes as I can. I'll put the time down below. Just walking back down to the house to refuel and replenish my body after that run. That was the first run I've done in the off season. I want to try and do them at least <coughs> two or three times a month. It's free on a Saturday morning at half nine beside DKT College, and it's great just to get the the blood flowing and the aerobic movement of your body especially in the off season. So I can't just back in the house. That's always what I'm cooking. We're back in the house. I'm just gonna make up some food. I'm gonna replenish my full body. I'm gonna sip on some BCAAs from my protein. I got some creatine in this. I just took five grams of creatine a day, two scoops of BCAAs. Uh, basically because I think they're fucking lovely and also they start to break down the muscle. Really enjoyed that 5k. Glad I got it done. It's still early in the day. It's about half 10 in the morning. So I have a couple of errands to do. I have to go to the post office. I have to post off Rory Bagley's football gloves. And I also have to pick the winner of the Brian McGuig McGuigan jersey. And I have to go up to Dublin as well. I have to go up to Swords. I have to do a bit of work on my laptop. Flat out today, so that's why I'm taking the video uh, with me. I'm going to show you every single meal I had. I had the clothes this morning, so that's around 500 calories. So I have over 1,000, 1,200 calories left. I'm going to keep my fats extremely low today because I'll probably go out for Nando's tonight. I love going to Nando's on a Saturday night. One, because it's absolutely delicious. Two, you get 
fucking refills and three you can track it on my fitness pile easily so you know exactly where you're at regarding your macros and your calories and it keeps you on track i'm currently sitting as i said close to eight, uh, 68 kg low 69s high 68 so i want to keep going and get back to where i was during this during the start of the summer especially your championship time uh, not playing that much football at the minute, just making sure my aerobic uh, cardiovascular movement um, is still ticking over and that's really important for footballers in the off-season, they're still doing some sort of run because when they come back they don't have to take as long to get back in shape as it would usually take them if they didn't do any run over the off-season. Okay, so folks, I'm just going to pick the winner of the Brian McGuigan jersey. As you can see here, I always use randomresult.com. It just basically generates all the names you put in the list, and it picks one winner. So we're going to pick one winner here, and I hope everyone wish, wish everyone the best of luck. Um, it's something I want to keep doing every single month. Uh, December's coming fast. There'll be a new county footballer giving away some kind of gear for you. Um, so here we go. I'm going to hit draw now, and the winner... Is going to be Park Graham, good man Poggy, all the way from Orem. So I'll get to, I'll get on to you on Facebook and I will write to you, okay? And I'll get your details and then I'll post it out. So well done, Poggy. Um, I'll get in touch with you soon. So I'm just about to get ready. Actually, I am ready. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're going to go to town. Um, I have to go to the post office and I have to post off the winners of last month's uh, giveaway which is Rory Baggins Football Gloves I'm going to give them away to whoever won last time I'm going to post it in the post office so I keep talking shite but I'm going to show you as what I'm actually wearing at the minute because I haven't actually done that on the channel and I am into my clothes and I just thought some people might like it I'm just wearing a standard uh, River Island an olive colour and then with the jeans it's just the Rip River Island and I like to pull the, the bottom way up, I like to show the ankles and then get them socks and pennies and then just your standard Nikes, uh, black and white. So that's where I'm rocking today, a couple of errands I do in town and if anyone's asking and anyone cares then the hair product that I always use is the, where is it, Focus, the V05 Style Matte, it's basically just a hard matte clay, goes through your hair. And then I top it off with the got to be. You've probably seen this before. All the, all the buys use it, all the lads. And then finally, I use this hair comb, which is um, actually a mate of mine. It's a King Notes a beer grooming oil. He has started getting samples of hair combs, so that's pretty cool. I can use that to go into my hair. No hate, please. I'm just having a laugh. The catch is at the post office. I'm also going to stick this coat to me because it's absolutely freezing outside. It's November, winter is here. Um, it's just a River Island like trench coat, can you call it? Um, it cost me like 100 quid. Uh, I got it for like winter time. This has been my only coat I'll probably wear or buy. It was a bit pricey, but well worth it. Um, it's just like a trench jacket. weather outside so I am sorry that the video has been basically all over the shop uh, the last thing I can remember that I took the video off is me getting off the bus at Swords I always come up to Swords the weekend because my girlfriend's from Swords and it's great to get up and go to Starbucks for the day and do a lot of work on my laptop doing client plans uh, doing YouTube videos doing loads of different editing uh, Instagram all all the bullshit that goes with being a personal trainer 
Um, I'm gonna talk about the last couple of meals I had. I think I had a bit of a snack in Starbucks. It was basically some granola yogurt. And also, I always go for two types of coffee. I want to go for something that is seriously low in calorie regarding coffee. Sometimes people can forget that there's actually calories in coffee as well when you take into accord all the sugar and all of the sweeteners and all of the, the milk and so on. So I always go for a tall Americano Misto with a, a steamed milk, skim milk, and sugar-free hazelnut or vanilla. I just like to mix it up. Uh, I also just throw some splendors as well, it's like 60 calories, but I also go for a frappuccino style uh, coffee that my girlfriend usually makes for me. She works in Starbucks, so she I have it on the video now. It's like 60 or 70 calories, and um, so there are some ideas for you if you any of you enjoy your coffee like I do. And then I went on to have my last meal of the day just before bed. I thought I was going to go out for a meal tonight what we are going to just sit in so i'm actually kind of delighted because it couldn't be ours going out so this is really going to keep me on track because i tracked all my macros today perfectly and i especially doing the 5k this morning it would have burned three or four hundred calories which means i probably will go into my cut even lower tomorrow and monday so that kind of wraps up the video we got a lot done today i was up really early this morning get to bed early tonight and hopefully get some more video done tomorrow to have another video ready for the end of next week i got my 5k done delighted with my time will be doing it again delighted with getting the brian wigan jersey winner picked i will get that sorted very soon and i also got the last winner posters and package that was gone and then i got a lot of work done on my laptop and i got some coffee and got some snacks in and got my last meal in so that was fantastic so this is just another video that i want to bring is in the day of ricey not really much going on but that's what i do every saturday so i'll see you in the next video hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it hit the like button subscribe if you're brand new if you stumbled upon this video uh, somehow and you enjoyed it so Ricey out.